Kane, in your footy share portfolio, you've sold quite a few stocks over the last three years, but you've invested very hard in the genius, <laughs> Sam Mitchell. You've got a disproportionate investment portfolio in the Hawthorne coach. You've called him a genius many times. He's been here, you've stood behind that, you've been staunch in defence of him. Is, how tested is that at the moment on the back of none and five? Yeah, it was probably tested the, the most it's been um, in that time on the weekend, Hutchie. And, and even Sam himself, I, I thought he looked a bit rattled for the first time in his coaching career. He's spoken about how he likes to coach from the coach's box with that view, and he's been quite calm and measured. So to see him on the boundary line was different, and to see him as animated as he was, and to hear him after the game speak as honestly as he did was a definite shift. You're just not going to be able to compete against, against anyone the way we played tonight and that's just completely unacceptable way to play and we should be past games like that. That's as bad as we've played in a long time. I mean we had a chat with the players around the standard that we hold ourselves to, our training, how much extras we do, how much time we're putting in, how much tape we're watching. I mean if you're not looking under every rock to figure out the best way for you, like I don't know how many players would say they're in good form for us at the moment. All, all well, that's damning on, on everyone. It was, but all, all I'll say is that Gold Coast had 11 top 10 picks in this game. So you're making it. And you're going to defend, defend this well, game well, again. Of course, I am, of course I am. Because you better be careful because Gold Coast are coming. They've got more talent in their side so to the point where hard we can... Are good, it's just Gold no, Coast I've just said that, Hutchie. I've said that and I said it yesterday. I said they were smashed through the midfield. Their midfield couldn't get their hands on the footy. Nearly 100 less disposals. Newcomb nothing. Nash nothing. Warple nothing. Um, what go... did you expect? Though? I won't start asking. I'm not having a go yeah. at you here. What did you expect from Hawthorne last year? Off yeah, did you expect them to improve on last year? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. But one, once you lose Lewis and once you lose Bruce and once you lose uh, Blank Day. and once you lose Day, oh, Day. and uh, so that, that, then it cuts pretty deep. And when you don't have the talent that Gold Coast had, that sometimes can happen. Last week they nearly beat I'm, Collingwood. I'm putting, the, I'm putting the talent on the agenda. So, well, that's not Sam yeah. Mitchell's fault. Well, he, he's driven the... No, he, he doesn't pick those players. No, true. Although he's a bit more influential than most on Well, your list on management players. picks these players. Yeah, not they, they do, but he's close to it. So there's going to be some winners here without question. But they, they, this is getting a bit long in the tooth order of 21, 20... You supported the cull. I love the strategy. I, but like Melbourne, your strategy only works if you nail the picks and you develop them So well. Sam Mitchell puts the strategy in place. He says so to his list management team, go, go and find me the go players. Go back to that list again If for they a don't pick the right players, you can't blame the coach. If we could just roll that again for a second. So, like, so we, how do you blame Sam Mitchell for that? Will Day's a clear winner, right? Do, do you think that the investment in Ward and McDonald... No, but you're asking me about Sam Mitchell and some and of the McKenzie, some him. of the high picks... Do you think that they're going to they're going to bear as much fruit as they hope to in this strategy? I think the jury's out, Hutchie, but they you can't pin that on Sam Mitchell. But you, every you, you coach supported, lives and dies by that. They don't fall back on. But you supported the, the strategy. I and do. And then you're saying the list management team have picked the wrong players. Sam Mitchell's not watching under 18 footy in the middle well, of winter. He, he kind of is. He's very. Well, he's very. Con he had enough. Faith that would be unusual. That the next drafts were going to be. Ward and McKenzie enough. are the two. I think yeah. they are top 10 draft picks who were midfielders that they needed that they haven't quite come on at the The game's a bit evolved on them too in yeah. the way it's... Yeah. Denver Grange Brass yeah. is the one that kills them. Pick six, key defender, exactly what they need, and he's injured now, but hasn't and doesn't look like he's going to be a player, unfortunately. The, the team that beat them was the Gold Coast Suns, and, and I think you look at their record, home versus away, and they go to the SCG this week. So I, I look at this year, you know, they got smacked by the Bulldogs in Ballarat, and they've beaten the Crows... Uh, they, they won on the weekend, they beat the Tigers and then they won on the weekend against the Hawks. So we still aren't you know, there just yet with where the Gold Coast are at and I look forward to seeing how they perform against the Swans at the SCG.